Emily banged her head in the confusion. They dragged her crying into the waiting boat. She called your name. Granny needs to concentrate. Don't kill me. Granarak, stop. Stop what you're doing. Can't we at least talk about it? My knife's gotta be nice and sharp to cut into your skeleton, Slackjaw. Nice and sharp. My love, are you ready to help get Slackjaw's bones? Granny has some birthday gifts for you. I've been saving them up in case you ever came back to me. Not going to help Granny? Well, I'm disappointed. You better leave.
Mass man. Fancy you showing up down here. Look at the pickle I'm in. Word is all over the street about your little secret, Corvo. You're the one that acts the Empress. Makes sense why you run around wearing that mask. Maybe you could help me out, since we're friends and all. Oh no, you don't. I'll kill you and cook you and eat your heart for breakfast. Oh. Lords of the Great Leviathan, protect me! Unlock me. Wanna know something funny? When we were kids, we were all scared of Granny Rags. Thought she was a terrible witch. Then we grew up and figured she was just a sad old lady. We were right the first time. Now ain't that funny. I owe you. This won't even the score, but it's all I got left. Luck to you, Corvo.
find your way into such interesting places, Corvo? At the eye of the storm, raging between granny rags and this man who has lived his whole life with a cleaver in one hand and a bottle in the other, crawling out of those flooded ruins, winding your way back to the pub where you last saw Emily. Where is she now? How does it feel now, knowing your allies betrayed you? Strange how there's always a little more innocence left to lose. And Dowd, the man who killed the Empress. You had him in the palm of your hand, and you let him walk away? You fascinate me. children inside? I told her. Sir, have you seen my husband? His name's Jake. He had on a blue shirt. This whole place has gone to the hounds. Did this decision, he says yes, he's safe. That's such good news. Our boy is safe. He 
he says to undress. The boat captain was decent. Your cousin was on board. We can lay low and meet them tomorrow. Leave with the next group. The All right, we can share this apple tonight. In a week, we'll be on Addie's farm in Morley. I know you never liked Morley, but the three of us will be together. That's all that matters. Don't do that, please. I swear I have nothing you want. Please, sir, let me pass. You, I please leave me. This position, he says to bring the bottle. I swear I have nothing you want. He says to bring the I bring the food. dresses like whalers from the oil refineries. He says to undress. I like magic. How did it pass me by? All the others, down with the sickness. Get back. How did it pass me by? All the others. The sickness. You, please leave me. I don't have anything to take. Oh, please, no more. Maybe tomorrow will be better. I don't have anything better. to take. Maybe I can go back home. Tomorrow. I swear I have nothing you want. How did it pass me by? All the others, down with the sickness. Yes, nice. The city's dead. Take three more months. Your usefulness is spent. They didn't know the news of your death. Calista tried, tried to protect, protect her, but they, they pulled the child from her arms. All the curses she spat. Saw last night. So terrible. Please don't bother me. He says to bring food, I bring food. He says to
No! Oh, it's you, Corvo. Thank the stars. We all thought you'd been killed. Except for Samuel. He seemed sure you'd survived. I saw him on the river shortly before the killing began. He was smart enough not to come ashore. But I'll bet he's still out there. Looking for you is my guess. At first, Pendleton said it was time for our bonus. Havelock stood behind them, and at the signal, he shot them each in the back of the head. Just like the target drills he used to. Lydia barely had time to scream. I would be dead too. Except Wallace told me I wouldn't be getting anything. Pendleton kept apologizing, saying that no one could ever know about the things they'd done. Martin was drinking and seemed sad. The Admiral was about to shoot Callista. Then he mumbled something about owing her uncle, Captain Kurnow, a debt. They said it was time for Sokolov and went off to his cage. I don't know what happened after that. Emily was there when the killing started. Poor child. I hope she hit her eyes. The Admiral said that Martin was right. I guess they talked about it. And they started to worry they'd get executed for all that they'd done, going after the Lord Regent and his allies. I suppose it's why they've poisoned you too. I thought Lydia would squeal on me at the end. She just told Havelock to screw himself. And died. Lydia is the only one who ever showed me any kindness. I don't think the Admiral actually knew I existed. I can hide here for as long as it takes. Seems that no one is safe when a man is that close to a prize like the throne. said he was dead. Poison thrown in the river. If you ask me, he's long gone. Through the mask in the river, left town. That's what a rational person would do. Not this guy. You have to understand the criminal mind. I hear they had to hide the Caldwin girl from him the whole time they were working with him. I heard they locked him in a cage and only let him out at night. The criminal mind, huh? So what's he doing now? Waiting. He's probably watching us right now. With that crazy mask on. Creeping closer and closer, ever closer, until... Cut it out. What's so impressive about Corvo, anyway? Who's he got up against? A couple of high overseers, a couple of noblemen? He could never stand up with him in our training. Well, now I do hope he shows up. I want to see you run crying on the cover of the tall boy. Not 
They left, left in great haste, scattering like insects, eager to bore into the nests she made for them. Emily grabbed her head in the confusion. They dragged her crying into the waiting boat. She called your name. Update. Our men are still trying to penetrate the squad after what happened last night. Never doubt. Big Piero Joplin's inside. Crackpot, natural philosopher. There is evidence that Anton Sokolov was held here against his will for some time. We can't determine what happened to him. I'll bet my commission is in that building of Piero Joplin. If so, arrest him. But I don't want him harmed until I get to the bottom of all this. Careful. The place may be booby trapped and I want him alive. What else? Yes, sir. Servants were all executed shortly before we arrived. Mm -hmm. Looks like a naval cutlass and a small board pistol. Corvo, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Turn this building inside out. And it goes without saying. This area is sealed. Still walkers at all points. And stay vigilant. Corvo's the most dangerous man in the Empire. And he has nowhere else to go. Yeah, he's nice. bother us again. I guess he holds it.